Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Growing in Christ with your host, Noreen Aguirre, and author of Gali Dreams, Your Seat at the Table, and Gali Dreams Ministries. Today's message I'm going to be sharing with you, the topic is, It is Not a Contest. That's the words that the Lord's placed in my spirit last week. It is not a contest. So at this moment, before I get started, I just want to say a quick prayer that the Lord prepares your heart and your mind to receive this message that he has for you today and that it bear much fruit in your life for the glory of heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. So the words the Lord gave me, it is not a contest. I want to start off by sharing what he was trying to tell me, what he was speaking to my spirit, the way that we deal with a contest or a race. Let's say we're running this race. In this race that we're running, we do everything in our power to get to the finish line. It doesn't matter who we knock down. It doesn't matter who we push to the side. It doesn't even matter who we trip over or who we have to step on. As long as we get to that race and as long as we finish, get to that goal and finish, you know, reach the finish line. Praise God. The contest, the Lord is telling me that This is not a contest because the race that he is talking about that we are to finish is not the race that we would see ourselves running in this race as a as a race and just stepping on anything, anybody as possible to get to where we need to go. Praise God. The race that the Lord is calling us to run is to run this race, but to run this race, not alone, to run this race that bringing all your brothers and sisters along with you and doing everything in your power, everything in, not in your power and your strength, but as a child of God, he gives us the strength. We can do all things through him who gives us the strength, but doing everything that you can to stop as you're running. If you see your brother fallen, you stop and you lift them up and you tell them, you know, keep on going, keep, keep on going, encouraging them with the word of God. And that's what the Lord is calling us to do, to continue running this race, but not to run it alone, to bring as many people as possible, as many of our brothers and sisters as possible to the end of the finish line. Praise God. I'm going to read with you 2 Timothy 4, 7 says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Praise God. The second word, the message that the Lord gave me was, when it is a contest, it becomes all about you. That's the way we know that it is a contest. When it becomes all about you. Our focus must be on finishing the race and focusing on God. Giving God the glory. Giving God the honor all the time. Praise God. Acts 20, 24 reads, However, I considered my my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me. The task of testifying to the good news of God's grace. Praise God. So testifying is not only just sharing that gospel and and sharing the gospel, but is 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 doing this with your brothers and sisters you know, guiding them and being that iron that sharpens iron. Praise God. We must continue working together and supporting each other to do all that God has called us to do. Again, it's not who we can knock down, who we can talk about, who we can step on to get to what where you need to be. That's not how God is calling you to run that race. Because and then again, it, then you doing that is all about you. Praise God. And when it's all about God, we must Focus on him, finishing the race the way he called us to finish it and bringing as many people to that finish line. Praise God. Proverbs 27, 17, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Praise God. Not looking into our own interests, but in the interests of others. Praise God. Philippians 2, 3, 4, do nothing out of selfish emotions, or vain consent. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself, not looking to your own, your own interests, but the interests of others. Praise God. The Lord is the only one who gives us the ability and the strength to do all things. So he must get all the credit and all the glory 
all the time. Praise God. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through him who gives me strength. So without him, we can do nothing. Praise God. So the glory and honor, credit must go to Jesus, our Lord and Savior at all times. Praise God. James 4, 6, but he gives us more grace. That is why scripture says, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Glory be to God. God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Luke 16, 15, he said to them, you are the one who justify yourself in the eyes of others, but God knows your heart. What people value highly is this despisable in God's sight. Galatians 5.26, let us not become content, provoking, and envying each other. Amen. The next one I want to read is 2 Corinthians 10.12. We do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some who compare themselves. When they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves, they are not wise. Glory be to God. Again, my brothers and sisters, what the Lord has placed in my heart is that we are running this race, but we are running this race, trying to get to the finish line, but not running a race as the world will run the race, running the race that God has called us to run it. And that is re reaching to the finish line and reaching that finish line with as many of our brothers and sisters with us. To God be the glory. No matter what we're going through, no matter what it takes to get there, but making sure our focus is not on ourselves, the attention is not ourselves, or giving ourselves the glory or honor. Because we can't do anything if it's not through the strength that the Lord has given us. Praise God. So I want to share with you that it's very important that no matter what ministry the Lord has given you, whatever avenue he's using you, either a pastor, a minister, um, a teacher, or evangelist, uh, whatever it is, whatever it is that the Lord has placed in your heart. If you do videos, how I do on Tuesdays on Facebook or YouTube as well, where, whatever avenue the Lord has given you to share the gospel, we must make sure that it's not all about us, that the focus is not about us, that I'm only putting my videos. I only want people to look at me, my messages, what I'm doing, because when you're doing that, then the focus is on you. And that's when it becomes a contest. And the Lord is saying that we are the body of Christ. It's not about what we're doing, but it's about what it's not about what I'm doing, but it's about what we're doing for the glory of God. Amen. So making sure that when you're running that race, that whoever gets knocked down by you, that we're not stepping over anybody to get there, but whoever gets knocked down, that you stop to lift that brother and sister and to tell them to keep going, to keep going, to keep fighting until they get to that finish line. So that way we can reach that finish line together for the glory of God. So that's what the Lord has placed in my heart. Again, it's not, it's not a contest the way the world looks at a contest because that way the world is just no matter what we, it doesn't matter who, who's in our path, who's in our path, it doesn't matter. And the Lord is saying as a child of God, that's not how I'm calling you to live this life. That's not how I'm calling you to run your ministry. That's not how I'm calling you to, to um, be a testimony of, of who I am. Praise God. So I just wanted to share this message with you. And I just pray that it's a blessing to you. I ask that you please share these videos, um, these messages, because I upload it afterwards. Um, right now it's on SOAR Radio, but afterwards I upload it to my YouTube channel for those who don't catch the whole thing and miss it. You can always find the message on um, my YouTube channel as well under Noreen Aguirre. That's N as in Nancy, O-R-E-E-N. Last name is A-G-U-I-R-R-E. -R -R -E. I have over 170 videos on there that the Lord has placed in my heart. Um, there's dreams, visions, testimonies, messages that the Lord has given me. So I know that there'll be a blessing to you. Please subscribe to that channel and to help share the gospel around the world. 
Again, I come live on Facebook every Tuesday around 1 p.m. Central Time. And again, Soar Radio every Wednesday at 6 p.m. So I thank you again for those who are following along, for those who are taking the time and listening you know, to what the Lord has placed in my heart to share with you. Again, it's not about me, but it's about reaching out to the multitude for the glory of God and living our life the way the Lord has called us to live it. So at this time, I just want to pray. If you were living your life and um, you were focused on you, focus on you and focus on getting that to that finish line, no matter who you had to step on, no matter who you had to talk about, no matter who you had to push out of the way to get to where you felt you needed to be. I'm praying for you at this time. Father God, I just pray for every single heart, Father God. Father God, every single heart that's listening at this time, Father God, I just pray, Lord, that you keep the focus on you at all times, Father God. To you be the glory, to you be the honor, Father God. Help us, Father God, whenever we're, we're running to that race and trying to get there, uh, you know, and push people out of the way or trying to get there above anybody else, Father God, help us come back and focus on you because we don't want it to be a contest. We want it to be able to reach out to as many brothers and sisters for the glory of God and to reach and to to finish that finish to get to that finish line with as many of our brothers and sisters for the glory of God. So I pray Lord that you remove Lord at this time any pride that we are dealing with that you remove it. I rebind it and I rebuke it in Jesus mighty name. Lord, you say, Father God, in your word, that whatever we bind here on earth, you bind in heaven. At this moment, Father God, I, I bind any spirit of pride, Father God. And I replace it, Father God, with humbleness. Father God, I pray for humbleness, spirit, to come into their heart, Father God. Father God, for you to just take control of their lives, Father God, to live a life pleasing and honoring to you, and the focus and the glory and honor always be on you in all that we do. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. At this time, I would like to pray for anyone who hasn't received Jesus as their Lord and Savior. If you haven't made that commitment, if you haven't said those words out of your mouth, I'm talking to you. You know, tomorrow is never promise. Tomorrow is never promise. And I'll tell you for my own testimony that there's no better life to live than to live with Jesus Christ. You know, to have him as your Lord and Savior, to live a life for God. There's no life. There's no better life to live. And um, there's no true joy, no true happiness than to be in his presence and to be living that life to please him. So I want to pray for you at this time. If you're ready to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and repent from your sins, and it's not saying, okay, I'm not ready, I'm not, I need to get my life in order. No, the Lord is saying, come as you are. Come as you are. Amen. He will take care of the rest. Don't put any excuses. Come as you are at this moment. Just bow your heads. Again, it's not the prayer that saves you, but it's putting your trust in Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior um, that does. So at this moment, that if you're ready, just bow your heads and just pray along with me. Father God, it is a privilege and an honor to be called your son or your daughter. I ask, Father God, at this time that you forgive me for anything bad I said, did, or even thought of. I repent from my sins. That means I turn away. I turn away from my sins, Father God, and I'm running to you. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I ask for you to come into my heart and make it your home. I ask for you to give me the desires to seek you, to seek your word, Father God, and to do all that you have called me to do. Give me the hunger to be in your presence, dear Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. If it was your first time saying that prayer, I ask for you to look for a church that's being manifested in the gifts of the Spirit. So that way you can grow into what God is calling you to do. Praise God. I want to leave you with John 8.32. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Until next week, much love. Your sister in Christ, Narina Guire, author of Godly Dreams, your seat at the table and host of Growing in Christ on SOAR Radio. Much love. God bless. Take care.